Hello, everybody. It's Uncle Matt, and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And guess what? Today is National Pencil Day. What would you do without your pencil? Well, I got one right here, and uh, it's a nice leaded pencil. I um, I sometimes use those mechanical pencils, you know, the very thin lids. You kind of click it kind of thing. But uh, pencils are great. And I usually use pencils when I'm when I'm writing something down, when I'm thinking of a thought, and I want to easily erase it. Because when you're using a pen, sometimes it's hard to erase. Well, today is National Pencil Day. We're going to read a story about a pencil. And funny enough, it is called The Pencil by Susan Avangak and Marin Vestula, illustrated by Charlene Chua. This story was copyright in 2018. Are you ready? Here we go. There's some great illustrations in this in this book. The pencil. Here we go. The pencil. Here we go. See you later. And I said, you three be good for a tata. We will, Rebecca, Peter and I sit in unison. The warm air rushed out of the igloo as our mother left to go help a woman in a neighboring igloo deliver a baby. As Anana passed our lead dog, Quanakia, we heard him let out a little yip. He loved attention. Our igloo was a very cozy place. We didn't have much, so our parents told us to use what we had wisely. My favorite place in our igloo was the corner near the Qualik, where Anna kept her important things in a wooden box. This is where she kept things like tools for cleaning skins, needles, and sinew for sewing, and even a pencil. The sun is out, Atata said. Why don't you draw on the window? Anna had been teaching my older sister and me how to write by letting us practice on the ice window. Rebecca and I loved writing with our fingers on the frosty surface. We also like to watch Anna write letters to people in other camps with the pencil. It was so neat. Because we didn't always have paper, we would use wrappers and other things like the tea box or the sugar bag. But now we were all alone with Atata, so we could not watch Anna write letters. It was nice to spend some time with Atata. Sometimes he even let us do things that Anna didn't let us do. At first, we played all our regular games. We had a jumping contest on the floor of the igloo. Then we played with the dolls that Anastasiak had made for us. We even played a game of hide and seek with a blindfold, but soon, we got tired of all our regular games, and Anna was still not back. Peter was beginning to get restless. What else can we do, he asked. I knew something that would be really fun to do, using a pencil. We could never ask Atata that because the pencil was so special to Anna. Oh, but it would be so fun as we were thinking of what else we could do, Atata did something that he almost never did. He went into Anna's things and pulled out the pencil. Look at that. It's a pretty small pencil compared to this pencil. The pencil, the pencil, Peter and I yelled. We hardly ever got to see it. It got a little bit smaller every time we saw it. It was very short now, with only a tiny little bit of eraser left. Atata passed me the pencil, saying, 
How about drawing some pictures for your brother? I couldn't believe it. Anna always said that we needed to be very careful with the pencil and that it wasn't a toy. I took the pencil and I was a little nervous, but I loved how it felt in my hand. Atata pulled out a piece of paper for me to draw on. I knew it was only the I knew it was the only piece of paper we had. I began drawing. It was so much fun and so different from drawing on the frozen window. I quickly forgot about being nervous and just kept going. It was so neat to see my drawings taking shape on the page. I drew pictures of seals and caribou. Draw me, Susan, Peter begged, so I drew a picture that looked just like him. As the time passed, we each got a turn to use the pencil. When we had filled up the sheet of paper, Atata pulled out part of an old tea box. Rebecca practiced her writing, Peter drew scribbles, and even Atata drew some different types of inic suit for us to learn about. Atata had to sharpen the pencil a few times with his knife. It was getting shorter and shorter, and I was beginning to worry about how Anna would react when she came home. Just as we finished drawing all over the tea box, I heard Kwanakia let out an excited yip. Anna was back. I wondered what she would say when she saw the tiny pencil and her only piece of paper full of drawings. Anna looked tired. She was happy that the new baby had been born but when she saw that the pencil had been taken out and that it was even smaller now, the smile on her face faded. Look what we did, Anna, Peter yelled in excitement. Hmm. Wow, Anna said slowly, looking at all of our drawings. You have all been very busy. Did you see my drawing of Peter? Look, Anna, I was so proud that I wanted to make sure she saw that one. I see, Anna said. You know, the reason we have to use our things very wisely is because they are quite difficult to get. We have only one pencil right now, and we won't be able to get another until we return to the trading post, she said. We all must have looked a little disappointed. Anna saw our faces and smiled. I'm happy you had a great day with the pencil, Anna said, and this drawing really does look like Peter. We crowded around Anna, pointing out all the drawings we had done. It's amazing how something as small as a pencil brought us so much joy that day. I would always remember what Anna had said about using things wisely, and I knew that even though we didn't have much, we always took care of what we did have. That's the end. There's a little glossary here. Definitions of what we've read in the book. The anana, the A-N-A-A-N-A, -A -A -A, is actually the iniquitate word for mother. The anastaxiac, ananatsiac, is the inuktuktuk word for grandmother. Atata, atata, is the Iniktuit, word for father. Igloo, the iniktuit, word for dome-shaped house with a, with blocks of snow. Iniksuit, inuk, in, I guess they said inuksuit, the inuksuit word for traditional Inuit stone markers. The kualik, or kudlik, is I guess how you say it, I've been saying it wrong, is the Inuksuit word for an oil burning lamp.
There's some nice drawings there. The end. Well, how about that? All about a pencil on National Pencil Day. That's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that story, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Oh, I forgot my pencil. <laughs>